you get your toy or your switch, you're going to open up. There are four screws in the back. Don't don't start yet, and I'll go over it again. So you'll take the screws out. You'll open up the um, the switch inside the inside of it. There's a rim and then a top piece that'll come off. And inside of there, there's a um, paper piece of paper and there's a light bulb and then there's some hookup wires that go to the battery. Um, the fascinating part about these kids is they don't belong to any one group or any one class. Um, when Replay gave us the opportunity to kind of work together and redo toys for kids with special needs, um, I put it out to the department and said, tell your kids this is available and we'll see who signs up. And our 50 slots filled up in a day and a half. So these kids come from all grade levels, all different classes, and they are here just to help other kids. So Replay for Kids is a not-for-profit organization and they take um, motorized toys and rework them for kids who have um, hand-eye coordination issues or motor skill issues so that they can use the toys not just to play with but to communicate with other people um, or to learn how to manipulate different things. So it's just a way for the, the kids to be able to um, have another outlet of communication. The kids all have a toy that is already motorized, already wired up for a push button um, on the actual toy and they are taking it completely apart and they are using a push button light that you might find in your closet or in a dark workspace and they are pulling that apart and then they are wiring them together so that the toy will work off of the push button. Um, the interesting thing is these kids do not have very much electrical knowledge. They've never necessarily stripped wires before. So they are learning by fire, but doing a magnificent job of doing that as well. So in the end, the toy will be operable from a light switch rather than the toy itself. I think mostly what they take away from this is the knowledge that they've helped another student who may not be able to do the same things they can do on their own. It is just an opportunity for them to kind of give back to their community and to learn new skills along the way. We are modifying toys for disabled children and it's really important, especially during the holidays, for children with uh, special needs that might not have toys available, readily available for them in regular stores. And it's really fun. Um, I did this last year and we made uh, a lot of toys for um, kids during Christmas time.